In this training video for eVero Mobile Self-Hired staff, we are going to show you how to clock in and clock out for the Self-Hired Community Habilitation Program. On the home page, you will see the option Service Delivery. Service Delivery is going to be on the first row in the first column with the orange notepad. Selecting this is going to begin the steps to clock in for your self-hired services. Selecting service delivery brings you to view the service summary page for previously worked shifts, which can be helpful to track your hours and collect information throughout the week and the month to make sure you're on target with your staff schedule. You can start a new session by selecting the upper right hand corner new or blue plus sign or at the bottom right hand corner, there will be a new session button. Selecting new session will bring us to our program screen. Selecting the self-hired community habilitation program. GPS required is indicating electronic visit verification. The app does require GPS settings to be enabled and it is a requirement of the program to document real time using the app for electronic visit verification standards. Okay, so selecting the self-hired community habilitation, I will select OK to punch in. Punching in now starts my indirect time. I am being paid for my entire shift, but there is a difference between the indirect punch for the first half and the face-to-face -face punch for the second half. So two total punches during the clock-in process, which should happen organically as you're face-to-face -face with the person you support. Punch in on uh, screen will have the department selecting the dropdown for self-hired ComHab, only selecting self-hired differential if you are a differential staff. I'm going to hit done on the upper right hand corner and then select the individual that I will be supporting on the individual screen. So you see a lift, list of participants supported only selecting one individual. AIM does not support group billing, so it is a one-to-one -one basis for support. Mode of support will be the drop-down showing face-to-face, -face, selecting that option, and then selecting done on the upper right-hand corner. So we see here we have a punch in um, start button. So the second punch will select when we're face-to-face -face with the person we support which will capture a start time of 647. And you see the total duration starting to count on the screen. AIM uses the billing information as documenting for our agency, and you don't have to worry about that as a staff. It's just available on the screen counting real time for you. So with self-hired ComHab, there is a service plan that self-hired staff are required to document on. They will be selecting the 0 slash 5 red notepad. Selecting that will open up the service plan and you'll be selecting whichever goal that is speaking to the supports that you provided as a staff. It would be best to review the different goals and supports to make sure that you are up to date uh, and trained appropriately for the ways that the participant wishes to be supported. Everyone is different in our program, so each plan is going to look different. Once I select the goal that I'm interested in documenting on, I will be choosing the second goal, pursue hobbies and interests in the community. I'll select that particular goal and open up this example method section that we have here that outlines Joe's valued outcomes and specific ways that we will support him uh, as a staff. So participating in recreational activities, uh, and then we would make sure that we read this thoroughly as far as methods go to make sure we're supporting Joe the way he wishes to be. So this entry is going to include staff supports for physical, verbal, gestural, and supervision. Select whatever you think best applies and however many times you provided that staff support. Next is the individual response. Selecting that dropdown will provide three options that we will typically use. 
fully engaged, partially engaged, and then uh, refused, but staff continued to prompt. I will select fully engaged. The service location dropdown will be the next option to select. Typically, we're focusing on the first two options, either at home or in the community. For today's example, we'll select in the community, working on hobbies and interests. And then the final piece is going to be the comments section. This is important information. Not only are we entering the numerical data, we are also creating a narrative, writing at the perspective of the staff on how all these pieces of information go together. So we oftentimes recommend staff are including things like where they went, what they did, locations and destinations throughout the day to be included in the notes, um, explaining the staff support and which ways that staff uh, assisted that person and how that person responded. So how were they doing during the support? What were some of the um, things that were noticed during that time? I'm going to paste in an example note here to show you, um, explaining the, uh, the importance of these details because it does speak to the larger potential of having reimbursements issued to staff. If that is available in the budget, then we will be able to um, connect these to those reimbursements. So mileage or potentially the staff activity fees and expenses included in this detail will allow um, smooth reimbursements and reference to these notes. So staff should be including that detail in the notation portion of the shift. And once all of this data is included, then saving at the upper right hand corner. So here we can see the information populate in the yellow box next to the goal that we selected. Staff can document on more than one goal during a session, but at minimum one goal before clocking out uh, for the day. So to back out, to begin the clock out process, you'll select on the upper left hand side session page, which will bring you back to the um, session screen to wrap up your services and begin clocking out. So you now see that the time has kind of continued to um, count live, but we also have indication that the goal that we documented on was saved. The orange notepad turns green. It's now a one slash five. We've successfully saved at least one goal prior to our clock out. Selecting stop to end our session. It will ask us, are we sure we wish to end the session? We will select yes and then it will be brought, um, bring us to the session summary page. So session summary being that electronic visit verification summary we talked about earlier, including details such as the dates, times, and addresses of the supports that you provided. So seeing that here, and then at the very bottom of the screen, we do have two options. One option for designees to sign off on individual shifts, or we have the option if staff do not have that requirement with their team or designee to select unable to capture signature during session. Selecting that and then proceed will officially clock staff out and successfully punch from the program. Selecting OK and then I will pop back into service delivery to um, show the example of the shift that we just documented together. So today's date, 5-5-2025, session time for self-hired community habilitations at 6.47, ending at 6.52 p.m. And that is the example we just showed you today. Thanks so much for watching.